Let's take a look at a galvanic or electrochemical cell and see how a chemical reaction, known as a redox reaction, can be used to generate electricity. Consider a scenario in which two separate beakers of electrolyte, one containing a solution of copper sulphate and the other a solution of zinc sulphate, are linked by a salt bridge containing a third electrolyte, such as potassium nitrate. Strips of the metal copper and the metal zinc are dipped into each solution respectively to act as electrodes. When these electrodes are connected together with lengths of wire, an electric circuit is created through which electrons flow from the zinc electrode, known as the anode, to the copper electrode, known as the cathode. At the anode, zinc atoms give up or lose two valence electrons to form positively charged zinc ions. This loss of electrons is known as oxidation. These electrons then travel through the wire to the cathode, where positively charged copper ions in solution gain two electrons to form atoms of metallic copper. This gain of electrons is known as reduction. Overall, this dual process of oxidation and reduction, known as a redox reaction, results in the zinc electrode slowly being eaten away as zinc atoms lose electrons and enter solution as positively charged zinc ions. While at the copper electrode, there is a build-up of filaments of copper metal as positively charged copper ions gain electrons, coming out of solution as atoms of the metal copper. The salt bridge provides a source of positively and negatively charged ions that can be used to replace or balance ions that are lost or created during reduction and oxidation. Negative nitrate ions, called anions, migrate into the half cell containing the anode to balance the excess of positively charged zinc ions created through oxidation of zinc, while positively charged potassium ions, called cations, migrate into the half cell containing the cathode to replace any positively charged copper ions removed from solution by reduction in the formation of metallic copper. Redox reactions and the electrochemical cells they can be used to create provide a means by which chemical energy can be converted into electrical energy. The batteries that power many electrical and electronic devices are in fact nothing but various kinds of electrochemical cells.